What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Miami Dolphins defense versus the Baltimore Ravens. Um, sorry, this took me a little bit. Uh, Game Pass was giving me some problems. It wasn't wanting to work properly at all today. I couldn't even get onto the website. So, it is what it is. Um, but here we go now. So, yeah. Uh, we are going to be looking at it from this, this sideline view. Um, mainly because the front seven is what was really impressive uh, in this game. Um, and, you know, the deep passes that do happen, I mean, we'll still see it. So, because uh, unfortunately with Game Pass now, you do have to pick one or the other. It really sucks. Where it used to show the All-22 film first and then do the sideline view. But now you have to pick one or the other. But whatever. So, okay. Standard 5-2 look. We swallowed that up pretty well. Let's take a look there. Siler's got his hands inside on Ben Powers. He's going to pull some cloth and get free. But Landon Roberts not working himself out of position, staying right in that gap. Very nice. We kept the running game in check pretty much the whole game. We really kept the Ravens in check outside of the one drive. Really two drives, I guess. This one ends up with a field goal, I guess, but... All right, so what happens here? Um, they get a guy in motion... Ends up with an end around. We're just not able to quite get there in time. But Javon Holland does come in and deliver pretty good hit there on the sideline. So shout out to Javon Holland there. Uh, I do like what we're doing with us. Blitzing our safeties and stuff like that. I don't want to do that all the time because if <laughs> they think we're just going to be blitzing our defensive backs all the time, that's going to cause some problems. Very exploitable. And that's one thing that we did very good of, too, is uh, tackling. Our tackling looked much better this game. He just fell right there. Good job corralling to him as well by the defense. Yeah. yeah, pretty much everyone just gets washed there. No one's able to disengage. But considering what Baltimore's offense was coming into this game, it's pretty crazy what we were able to do to them. Um, I know a lot of people say, you know, they, they're really banged up and everything like that, which is true, but they've been banged up all year. And they've still been torching defenses. So I don't want to hear it. Lamar is just so damn fast, but one thing I do like is the fact that, you know, not only is Brandon Jones um, chasing him to the sideline, but Van Ginkle is also cutting off him getting too far as well. That's what forces him to run out of bounds. Good throw there. I really don't like Duke Riley. Come on. Alright, this play is just going to have to be blurry, I guess. Da 
didn't go nowhere anyway. Really loading up the box here, zero blitz. And this was pretty much the story. Um, us sending pretty much the house and uh, getting pressure and forcing Lamar into bad throws. This is pretty much what we were doing all night long. Just loading the box and getting all the pressure we can on him. Now, one thing I don't like is the fact that we do have to do that in order to get pressure. That's one thing I don't like. Because um, our guys don't really win our, the one-on-one -on -one matchups as much as I would like them to. Good job by Byron here. He's being blocked by Mark Andrews, but gets his hands inside, keeping his eyes in the backfield, disengages so he can get his arms on him. Got the first anyway, but still. Got a guy in motion going in the at the fullback position. Who's that on the ground? That Raekwon? No. Well, that's Siler. Right, he just got double teamed. Okay. Fair enough. There we go. Nowhere to go. Let's see what happened there. So we got a Landon Roberts back there. Oh, that's control right there, bro. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That's Raekwon. Gets his hands inside. Gets his eyes in the backfield. Controlling this man. This is two gapping right here. He is taking control of both of these gaps. That's that's the epitome of two gapping. Ugh, the, he's taking control of the A gap and the B gap. It's fantastic. Come on. See, if Lamar actually gets time to survey the field, he can hurt you still. Um, Atlanta Roberts does need to see this a little bit faster. Read the eyes a little bit because he stared that dude down. Nowhere to go. Alright, so first let's take a look at a Landon Roberts here. Um, he's following Lamar, keeping his eyes in the backfield. Now, I would like him to squeeze a little bit, but he does recover well and get in position. But he shouldn't have been that far away. Raekwon does his job nicely as well. Very nice. Nowhere to go. Let's see how Agba got free. Gets his hands inside. Ugh. Agba's fantastic, man. 
He sets the edge so well. Gets his hands inside. Waits to see what the running back's going to do. Once he thinks he has that gap, he's just going to disengage. Let's take a look at Christian now. Right here. Got his hands inside on the center. Doing the same thing. Keeping his eyes in the backfield. Yeah. Yeah. Great job forcing that ball out. But here we go again with the uh, blitzing the safety. Javon Holland's going to come out. Um, shout out to Eric Rowe for punching this out. And Tucker ends up missing that field goal. Then from here, Baltimore pretty much gets shut down for a while. Our offense still sucked, but... But see, this is where the pressure starts getting to them. Once, once you have them confused, they stop, and and you're forcing them to move in the pocket a bunch. Like, he's got his tight end open right here, but we're not giving him an opportunity to really look at the field, because he's got his guy. He's got Bell as an option too, but instead we force him to take that option, the only option he sees, and Javon Holland is able to get there. We're forcing him to just stare down his target. His head never moves away from that receiver. Let's take a look at Siler who ends up giving pressure here. And he's on two people. He's got Villanueva and Ben Powers. Oh, now let's take a look at Christian Wilkins. Right here. Just to beat the hands. Oh, beat him. Man, they both beat a double team. Siler beat two linemen, and Christian beat a lineman and a, a fullback. A fullback who is also 300 pounds, by the way. And game pass is going to be stupid. That's fun. All right, let's take a look at the sack. This is Javon Holland one? No. Okay. This is the uh, Jalen Phillips and Andrew Van Ginkle one. Okay. And they're both actually on the same side here. That's interesting. All right, so we're going to look at Phillips first. So... Jalen Phillips just does this with pure ball get off. Um, Van Ginkle has his hands on Ben Powers, so Ben Powers is dealt with. And Jalen Phillips is just too fast for Bellanueva to get his hands on. He, that's just pure ball get off there. Bellanueva is never able to really get a good go at him. Let's take a look at Van Ginkle now on, against Ben Powers. So he gets his hands inside. Drive, drive, drive. Still got that, that left hand on the inside. Uh, the right hand on the on the arm. Is he going to do a swim move? No, he's just going to use that leverage to disengage. Okay. <clears throat> Fantastic. Yeah, that's a punt. Okay. Yeah, we see quite a bit of three and outs for a while. Both sides. All right, so now we've got this view. Nothing. 
take a look at Raekwon first. Got his hands inside on Ben Powers. And he does fine. It's actually Siler that makes the play here. On Val on Val in the wave. He's got his hands inside. Keeping his eyes in the backfield. Disengage. Make the tackle. All right, let's take a look at Landon Roberts because he was involved right here. He sees the gap he's going for and crashes in. Solid. All right, let's, we'll look at Van Genkel in a minute. Let's look at Agba first. So here we're actually just rushing four, and we actually do get pressure. How the hell? Weird. So is Agba supposed to be the read here? Because... Ben Powers, is that Ben Powers that's pulling? Yeah, Ben Powers is pulling. He's supposed to get over there to Agba, but he sort of does. Man, I don't like that play design at all. Let's look at Van Ganko now. But Villanueva sucks now, don't he? He's playing super high, exposing his chest. No knee bend to speak of. Looks like fucking Slenderman. Yeah, he's just going to defeat those hands. All right. I feel you. Force them more into a bad throw. That left side's questionable for Baltimore's O-line. Let's take a look here. I'll talk about Holland in a minute. Let's look at Ogba here. So he just runs free. Okay. I love how often he gets a he gets his hands up. All right, so let's take a look at Javon Holland here. So he's all the way over here. Pre-snap, he's gonna kind of follow the running back. Hmm. Can we see what Eric Rose is doing? Yeah, he's sniffing that out too. I don't really like X missing like that, but it's okay. Eric Rose cleaned it up. And Holland was about to. <clears throat> All right. No pressure there. Able to get a pretty good completion. That's the thing, though. When, when we don't get pressure and our linebackers actually have to cover, it, get, it does get a bit spooky. Nowhere to go. Whole D line collapse of that. That's not even something I could say about any one in particular. That's just the whole defensive line turning into Voltron on there. Good job from the deflection, but this is what we weren't getting as much this year. You know, we're lining up six people. You know that some of these guys are going, and probably at least two of them are probably going to back off. But we're confusing Lamar by him not by not letting him know who it's going to be. So Brandon Jones and Jerome Baker are going to be the ones that are going to drop back on this. This is what we haven't been doing as much this year. All right, let's take a look at Agua now. So he's going to get those long arms on him, get get him inside, control him, setting the edge. Then when he sees that that throw in motion star, he just gets his that big old paw up there. He's fantastic at that. All 
right, seven people on the line. All right, so there's seven people on the line. We drop back two. Okay, so we actually only rush five. You see that? Last second, we're going to pull back uh, Van Ginkle and Baker. And once again, Agba's getting that hand up to try to bat that down. And we're tackling well, too. And X did not miss the tackle on that one. It's not always super complicated. Sometimes it's as simple as just completing your passes. I mean, uh, completing your tackles, rather. All right, we got seven people on the line. Let's see how many we actually rush. Six. Uh, actually, no. We pull Adam Butler and Baker back. Yeah. We don't get there that time, and he gets out there. But again, it's just keeping Lamar on his toes. Not letting him be comfortable. That's what it's about. It is that same play? Yes. Okay. I thought it had skipped, but it didn't. Okay. All right, let's take a look. All right, we've got six people on the line. We're going to drop two back and only rush four, bringing back uh, Baker and Brandon Jones. All right, so first we're going to start with Agba. So right off the bat, he's the one that really starts this rush. That tackle never really tries to punch. He just that's just pure ball get off. That's what forces Lamar to step up. Adam Butler right now is getting double teamed, but he's never going to give up. He's got his hands inside. He's using that to extend. Oh man. Oh, we'll get back to Adam Butler in a moment, but I mentioned Brandon Jones drop back. He's got his eyes on Lamar. So does Baker. Then when Lamar steps up, Brandon Jones goes in there, forces him to cut back, and then Adam Butler, who still hasn't given up on the play, is right there to make the tackle. Let's take a look at Jalen Phillips because he's also running free. Got his hands inside on Villanueva. Just going to use that leverage to extend and get away from him. Man. All right, we got seven on the line. This time we drop two back still. We drop back Adam Butler and Jerome Baker. And this time it's Javon Holland that gets his hand up. Now Ogba does too, but Holland is the one that actually gets the block. It's a deflection. This type of defense is very fun to watch. All right. So we're just crowding the line here. So they do a little speed option. Let's take a look at Baker here. He stops, doesn't over-pursue either one. He's trusting Agba to handle Lamar if Lamar keeps it. So Baker's just going to use that athleticism to... Go make this tackle. Fantastic. And that forces a punt. I'm not going to watch a kneel. So 
Baltimore offense basically gifted Baltimore a great field position here. But not going to matter. Give up the first there. Lamar is fantastic. That's fair. Sometimes the other team just makes good plays too. So this time, he's not even on the line. Oh, I'll get into the players who actually make the play here in a moment. But take a look at Brandon Jones. I've showed us moving our safeties around a little bit in the last couple weeks. This time, because usually when we do it, Holland will usually drop back in coverage. And Brandon Jones will usually come down here and kind of play a zone in the box. But this time, they're actually doing the same thing. But they're actually going to have Brandon Jones blitz here. That's interesting. He doesn't do anything with it. But it's interesting. Now let's look at actually who made this play. So Christian Wilkins and Van Ginkle. Okay, let's take a look at them then. Let's take a look at Christian Wilkins first. Right here. That's just ball get off right there. Just defeated that, that inside hand. Freeze himself up. Nowhere to go. Let's take a look at Van Ginkle. Nah, he just went on the lock. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Got six on the line. Very good. Lamar has nowhere to go. I don't know why they let Adam Butler run free on the inside. <laughs> That's crazy to me. But they did. And he stays patient. Agba got his hand up to make Lamar second guess it. And Butler and uh, Brandon Jones finish it. How does Brandon Jones get free? Brandon Jones legitimately beat Ben Powers' his hands. Ben Powers is bad, bro. Or at least he played bad today. I haven't, I haven't watched him regularly since college, but... His technique was pretty decent in college. He just wasn't very strong. I don't know if that's still the case. But... Mars fantastic. So are we. Good coverage by Justin Coleman there. But Javon Holland on the blitz, but Lamar is just going to make a Lamar Jackson type play. But shout out to Justin Coleman for the great coverage. It's going to force a punt. Let's go. Oh, my bad. Let me uh, do this. All right. Rushing four. Bro, he's getting triple teamed. Do they have an extra guy? See, this is the cool part about having a fullback that's 300 pounds. You can literally just use him as an extra lineman. One moment. All right, my bad. Let's do it. Take a look at that play again, real quick. Oh, so, uh, man, Sealer right there. All right, let's take a look. How does he get free like that? No one, no one picks him up. He just goes right between Ben Powers and Villanueva, and 
Even the fullback doesn't really know what to do. They're just confused with their blocking assignments. They have no idea who they're supposed to block. Especially if you have a quarterback like Lamar. If you're going to let anybody go, it shouldn't be one of your interior linemen. Because, like, think about where, in relation to the quarterback, they are. Like, um, like with this lineup, if you let Adam Butler run free, look how much closer he is to Lamar than, like, you know, Agba. You know, if, if Agba gets free, with Lamar's athleticism, he might be able to, like, you know, scramble to the left or spin around or do he might be able to do something to deal with that but when you're just letting people run free on the inside ugh, it's bad business but that's what that's what happens when you get confused <laughs> all right we got seven people on the line we drop back three we're actually only rushing four see it may live it looked like we were just rushing everybody but we're not we're still only rushing four people we're gonna bring back uh, Butler, Van Ginkle, and Baker. And instead, we're going to blitz our two defensive ends and our two safeties. That's crazy. We don't get there, but still. Van Ginkle, man. Let's take a look at that. How does Van Ginkle get free? Right here. Wilkins is going to kind of take up both of those. Yeah, you just got a free lane to run through. Okay. What about Landon Roberts? How does he get free? No one really gets their hands inside. They kind of let him go. Boy. All right, then. Damn it, King Pass. All right. Got a row following the fullback. Nowhere to go. That's just a whole defensive line playing disciplined. Alright. Let's take a look. Damn. That's eight people on the line. How many people do we actually blitz here? Almost all of them. We only dropped two back out of eight. It's crazy. And they still don't get anywhere. <laughs> Shout out to Phillips for chasing them down. Where did Phillips come from? Uh, he's one of the few people that actually did drop back. Him and Raekwon. Uh, no, him and Adam Butler. Oh, Agba does drop back eventually. Okay. Man. We just had them in shambles. Yeah, good throw there. They'll get a couple here and there. It's all good. Baker, man. Just run free, I'm guessing. Yeah, he just ran free. And everyone else just swallowed him up. Nowhere to go. Got five people on the line. 
We are actually only rushing four. Van Ginkle is not rushing. You don't get the penetration, and Lamar makes a good throw. Okay. Well, good-ish. Mark Andrews makes a play anyway. Man. Got eight people on the line. Dropping two back. He just confused and slips. Brendan Jones and uh, Javon Holland both run free. Holland gets credited, but... Okay. Let's take a look at the fumble. Well, the fumble drive anyway. No penetration there. Almost got picked. But he's in panic mode, so he's just forcing shit. Javon Holland would have put his head down and just ran. He would have been in position for that. Crowding the line big time here. Dropping back. One, two, two. And that pressure is enough to force a bad throw. Everybody was getting in. Oh, man. It's so cool. Definitely want to do this against the Jets, too. Nowhere to go. They're going to bring a receiver in motion and Holland and Brandon Jones just sniff that shit out. And right there is the fumble. Oh, that's fantastic. And then return we'll it all the way. Oh, man. And I remember when I was watching that game, all I could think of is, X, you cannot get caught. You cannot get caught. Because I, I wasn't sure we'd be able to score if we didn't score right there. That's the offense. Okay. Yeah, he's going to get a bit of a run there. Pretty good blocking. Not something he's seen a lot of in this game. Got seven in. They had seven down there, but we're dropping three back. We still got some pressure with Van Ginkle and uh, Adam Butler. Eric Rowe just sniffing that shit out. Delivering the hit, stopping him from being able to catch it. Man. They were trying to get Lamar on the move and trying to avoid that pressure, but we were covering well, too. 
Once again, get Lamar moving. Get him under pressure. Make him make a bad throw. Rinse and repeat. Here's the uh, the one touchdown drive. This one was kind of painful. By the way, fantastic punt by Michael Pilardi and great play by uh, Mac Hollins as well to set up this field position. So shout out to them on special teams. But, you know. At this point, Lamar is seeing ghosts and he just getting rid of the ball. Panicking. At this point, we are completely in Lamar Jackson's head. Not giving him any kind of opportunity to survey the field. Making him get rid of the ball quick. And then, good job by Byron getting that guy out of bounds. This is just stupid from Baker. So we'll get there in a minute. Let's look at let's look at uh, Ogba here. Obviously, I want him to finish, but how does he get free? Oh, he just runs free. Okay, but Lamar Jackson's amazing, so he makes him miss. Um, Baker also runs free. <laughs> this guy sucks. Um, but putting all your weight on Lamar at that point, like we had this drive stopped, dude. You can't be hurting us with that. They're gonna call that every time. That drive was dead, and like I know we won in a spectacular fashion, but this is the thing that we've been dealing with all year. It's just really stupid penalties that uh, that really hurt us on all sides of the ball. So I, I still want to cut that out. Couldn't get penetration, but still tackling them pretty early after they got the ball. Finish that tackle. Who's that? Brandon Jones. Yeah, you, had a, you had an opportunity there. Finish that. Good job, Eric Rowe. Yeah, that's not a fumble. Yeah, he was down. But it's still a good job, Eric Rowe. And the fact that you're still looking for fumbles and stuff is good, too. Ogball is getting that hand up. Doesn't end up getting it, but he's still getting his hands up just in case. Eric Rowe making the tackle. Mark Andrews kind of taking his lunch money on the route a little bit. I would like a, like a really good tight end buster uh, this year. That, that'd be nice. We really don't have one. Actually, we do. His name is Byron Jones, but we don't use him like that as often as we should. Yeah, this is... Um, this is the one that's stupid to me. This should not be P.I. Uh, Holland has already left his feet at this point. It's not helmet to helmet. I mean, it, they do make contact, but it's a, it's a glancing blow, which is allowed. This one's stupid to me. That's not that's not 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 P.I. Um, roughing the passer. That that shouldn't be roughing the passer. They do call it though. The first one was legit though. First one was definitely rough on the passer.
Fantastic job by Byron. Can't quite get there. Ogden's forcing some pressure, but great job by Byron on the coverage. Okay, let's take a look at the linebackers here. Actually, not linebackers. This is Eric Rowe. They, him and Baker, actually, um, just keep moving to the right, and they work themselves out of position here. Eric Rowe needed to stay in that gap. Jackson's going to get in motion. Phillips going to extend. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, some of the calls are pretty, pretty ticky-tack, but it's still been a problem all year round with the penalties. Some we have to cut out. Like I understand you're gonna have some, but it's been it's been an issue all year long. All right, so we don't get the pressure. Lamar's able to get the ball out. Uh, receiver makes a big play. Byron is on the ground, and I do love their second effort from Byron here. Never give up. You never know if you may get an opportunity later to tackle him before he gets to the goal line. Great second effort. Take a look at Eric Rowe here. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the play where it looked like um, Eric Rowe, it, it, it looked like he thought he heard a whistle or something. So, mm, unfortunate. But, how long was this drive? Okay. Couldn't remember. But, last drive, regardless, so. All right. So, once again, well, actually, no. I thought Baker was closer to the line. He's not. We're just rushing for it straight up. Okay. Makes sense. Playing more of a prevent defensive style. But we are bringing some pressure here. Okay. Load in the box. Got seven people on the line. Wilkins and Brandon Jones are going to both bail. So will uh, Baker. Fantastic catch, man. Decent coverage from Byron, but... Um, Jalen Phillips beating the shit out of Illinois again. Uh, they definitely were attacking Byron a little bit at the end. They're not really trying to look too much at um, Xavier Howard. But. Bro, what the fuck? Alright, let's go to the previous play and then go back to this one. See if that fixes it any. No. They're just spiking it anyway, so. There we go. All right, just straight up four down linemen. No pressure. Good tackle from Baker. At this point, we're just trying to keep him out the end zone.
Good job by Brandon Jones there. You know what? For the rest of this drive, let's go sideline view. Since this is going to be mostly prevent defense anyway. It's just a pain in the ass to keep switching back and forth, but for this drive, it makes sense. So we got four down linemen. Yeah. Let's take a look. Here's Brandon Jones here. Yeah, it's not bad. Could read the quarterback's eyes a little faster, but that's okay. He's still only a second year player. Still developing. That's okay. Alright, just gonna spike it. I feel ya. Alright, now we got some people crowding the line. Come on, Game Pass. Hang on. All right, my bad there. All right, let's go. Is that gonna be as good as I can get? No. Okay, there we go. Ah, nope. Still blurry. Okay, awesome. All right, so we crowd the line. Sometimes we're going to end up in situations like that where Adam Butler is having to try to deal with Mark Andrews because of the, this type of play design. So there's definitely negatives. But overall, I think we'll take a couple plays like that with um, what it gave us in return. Crowding the line again. Got Holland moving around, and he's actually not going to blitz any. Anyway, I don't know he is. We got all these people on the line. We're going to drop like three back. Um, Holland looks more like a spy. Forces Lamar to try to throw it all the way across his body to the other side of the field. All right, so now we're just rushing four, it looks like. No, actually, we're only rushing three. Van Ginkle's going to drop back. Pogba still almost gets there. Let's take a look at Agba here. Good ball get off. Gets right under that arm. That causes the pressure. Not quite a pick yet, but it's coming. So forced a bad throw. Crowding the line here. Going to drop two backs or just rushing four. He's more of a spy. And Justin Coleman's going to seal that shit with a good pick. Let's look at Coleman first, then we'll look at Ogba. Just perfect coverage right here. Fantastic. I've been picking on him the last couple weeks, actually pretty much all season, because but he, he really stepped up this game. All right, let's take a look at Agba now. Oh, he just ran free. Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, um, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, yeah. Fantastic win. Defense played amazing. Um... Obviously love what we were able to do. Uh, finally get back to form. You know, really trying to confuse our opponent. Hopefully we continue that forward. Now, obviously we can't do it all the time. Because, you know, if, if the opponent does throw into the blitz, um, that can cause some, some issues. We, we've seen that in the past. So, um, we kind of have to just implement that as a big part of our defense, but not our whole defense. So, yeah. Anyway, 
that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.